Welcome back to Let's Play Galactic Civilizations 2, Twilight of the Arnor. With me, Get Daved. So, last time we started War with the Thalons, it's going pretty well. Had a bit of a rude awakening in the first fight, but things have improved since then. Another wave of xenophobia. I can't imagine why every race is at war with everyone else. Focus on getting them in there right away. Fighting one at a time, I don't know, maybe they'll survive, maybe they won't. Probably gonna lose one, actually. Yeah. It was a good theater, though. And I believe that's a non combat left. Alright, their capital is completely defenseless, so let's. Yeah, that is their capital, and it doesn't have a lot of people on it. Let's take advantage! They have decent soldiering, but uh, that's about it. Approval writing's perfect, so that rules that out. I'm going to try my luck with traditional warfare and see what happens. Ooh. A marginal victory. Star democracy. That's good. I could go for that. I probably should have researched that earlier. Hyperion Matrix. I'm not familiar with that one. Sixteen tech points for research and a uh, 300% tile, though. That's pretty cool. They sure got the most out of this planet. Well, now it's mine. I would like you to keep making Ariadne 2s. Everywhere else? Look, I don't know, just looks like it's ripe for general... Standard economic development. This would be a great place for the economic or the manufacturing capital or research capital. I mean, not a bad planet, all things considered. What am I looking for? Maybe they already built a recruiting uh, recruiting center. I don't see it. That's disappointing. Either way, they'll be busy working on this for a little while, so I'll uh, leave them to it. What a planet! I'm glad I conquered it. I'm going to try seeing if I can protect that one, but sooner or later the scavengers that are every other species in the galaxy will no doubt be coming for it. And... A little uncertain what to do. I should probably take out that fleet. We're going to lose one of our ships, but it'll be in glorious battle. I mean, look at their firepower. bad. Disruptors are sure effective anyway. I'm not going to bother destroying those because they will probably defect to join me pretty quickly. And 
in the meantime, that just moved the battlefront way over there, which I like. I like that quite a bit. My problem is their forces aren't exactly over there right now. launch that transport in a bit. We've got transports ready to go, so that's probably the most important thing. I'm trying to sneak something past me. And no small amount of firepower there either. certainly won't have much to fight them back with. I don't really want to get in the way of a fleet like that. Maybe when Barriers 3 gets researched next turn we can design something to stand up to them a bit more effectively because I'm not exactly keen on what I've currently got. Well, 210. All right, let's go for it. We can run them down and then they will be ours. It's going to be kind of interesting what happens here. I don't know how many sh ships of mine are going to be left after that fight. I mean, this technically favors me a fair bit. I've got a lot more HP, I've got more firepower, and I've got defenses against theirs, but boy can they do a lot of damage. Looks like they're gunning for the constructor. I'm just going to keep researching barriers because it's coming relatively cheaply. By micromanaging, I guess I should control where it's launching. It's a little bit of micromanagement, but it can sure help a lot. Alright. my starbase, and I'm not going to share it. Those cruisers are sure tough. Buckle up. Three kills right off the top, that makes me happy. I've never really seen fights like this. Like, I actually have defensive systems on my ships. That's the thing that blows my mind. Like, sure, they're not as advanced as our weapons by a long shot, but these are ships with defenses, and there's just, like, every shot to kill both directions. I try to avoid that sort of, uh, setup. I try real hard. There we go. Tons of resources for us now. Alright, we should have one full fleet left that can converge, so that'll be nice. You'll note the economy isn't balanced anymore. I'm not too worried about that because we've got a pretty decent sized nest egg. And uh, I could probably tone it down on the agents here. I'm not really using them. 
Oh wow, that actually bumped us into the green too, or into the black. I'm not too worried about it just because once we start developing those economic resources, we're going to have a ton of money to burn. Also, I'm excited because I believe I made those mining bases at one point. I'm excited to have them back. Alright. Morale plus 2%. That's fun. Do the Drath even have planets left? That's what I want to know. And we'll get them developing those economic resources. Found fleet, but a much weaker one. question is, do we go for that fleet, or do we go for taking their colonies? I kind of like that I have free travel through their space right now, because we've got pretty convincing superiority, but, well, you never know. I think we're going to start the invasion force now, see if we can take a planet or two. Most likely, probably, I, I think we're just going to get one, but who knows. That's disappointing. So we got one of their mining bases to side with us. That's good. Important question is, are the Kryn any good in a fight? I'm not sure change things up. I'm sure the Thalons are all buddy-buddy with them. There they are. No! Interesting. Well, let's see if we can get my friends the Altarians to help out on that front. And what would it take? There you go. I feel a little uneasy giving them barriers, actually. Let's see if we can't find something a bit more uh, lame. Yeah, Graviton Driver. That's what they're going to be using against you. I'll be willing to give up quite a lot to get those beams. There we go. Disruptors two, 3 would be really great, so... Actually, I wouldn't mind having this to have a world that's doing nothing because I don't have it, so... Photonic Torpedo? There we go. Actually, one last miniaturization would go a long ways, too. I'm willing to give good stuff for it, too, so... It's worth it. I don't really plan on being at war with the Altarians anytime soon, and it's worth it. I'm going to do a little bit more wheeling and dealing, and then I'm going to try designing a new ship, and that's how we're going to kick off the next video. I'll see you there.